Hi, I'm John Zarella. The National Weather Service says lightning strikes the United States about 25 million times a year. A typical lightning strike contains more than 100 million volts of electricity. With all that power, it's amazing some researchers still say lightning is the most underrated weather hazard. A lightning strike to an unprotected structure can cause injury, cost thousands of dollars with damages ranging from fried electronics to fires that destroy entire buildings. We've been here for um, 15 years and um, every year we'd have damage. We were targets. You may already know you can protect your electronics with a surge protection system or if you're outdoors you should seek shelter at the first sign of lightning or thunder. But how do we protect the shelter from lightning damage? By installing a lightning protection system. So what is a lightning protection system and how does it work? I'm here with Kim Lohr, the Lightning Protection Institute. And Kim, what is a lightning protection system? It's basically a grounding network designed to protect your home against lightning's harmful electricity. Now Kim is going to show us how this works. Kim, let's take a look. All right, Kim, so explain to me now how this system works. Well, what you see in my hand is a lightning rod, which is actually an air terminal or a strike termination device. And if you look up here, you'll see that the, there's a series of these lightning rods, these air terminals, that connect to a bonding system, that connect to a grounding system. So the idea is to take the lightning strike, the intercept the strike, take it down to ground where no damage is done to the home. Kim, so we've got some copper wire coming down from the roof, going into PVC pipe. What are we looking at here? Well, really, we're looking at where the system transitions to ground. So they're actually driving a rod 20 feet into the ground yes. to disperse the lightning that far down. Right. Isn't the whole home surge protector enough? Surge protection devices help against secondary strikes. But if you're going to have a direct strike, you need this. You need this grounding network to take the mega electricity to ground. This is what we typically call a lightning rod. Uh, and a lot of people out there are saying, well, aren't they going to just attract lightning to the house? Actually, John, that's a myth. Lightning rods do not attract lightning. Lightning is electricity, and it's just looking for a path to ground. You know, people out there are probably going to say, oh my gosh, something like this is going to cost a lot of money. What, what does a system like this cost? When you compare lightning protection to other home amenities like security systems or irrigation systems, it's not really that expensive. And it's peace of mind. It protects your home, protects the occupants, it protects your equipment. I think we just got tired of spending so much money getting everything repaired. It was pretty regular. Every year we'd have damage and it just got so expensive that we thought for cost effectiveness, if we put the money down on lightning protection, it would pay off in the long run. And it has for us. Now remember, lightning protection is not a do-it-yourself project. Be sure to contract with a certified specialist. Experienced and reputable UL listed and LPI certified contractors should install the system to ensure materials and methods comply with nationally recognized safety standards. For more information on lightning protection systems, visit flash.org and visit lightning.org for a list of qualified specialists in your area. I'm John Zarella, and I'll see you next time on Protect Your Home in a Flash.